Well, how y'all are this afternoon? This is your buddy George Jones over here at the Bergen Gun Range with my next installment on, hey, I got this old used gun. And the old used gun I got today, here, move the camera just a little bit. The old used gun I got today is this one. This is a Taurus 1911, PT 1911 in caliber 38 Super. Uh, the Super came out about 1929. It was originally marketed as the 38 Colt Automatic. And then sometime into the 19, late 1940s, uh, the Super was manufactured by Remington. Remington, UMC, whatever. And uh, it was in a licensing agreement with Colt Firearms. Uh, Later on, other companies started to pick up the ammunition, making the ammunition, and they started calling it the 38 Super. And Colt actually manufactured one in, they called it the Super 38. But uh, it's basically a 357 Magnum diameter semi-automatic handgun cartridge. It's longer than a 9 millimeter. It's actually larger than a nine millimeter. Nine millimeter is uh, is uh, 355, and a uh, a 38 super is actually 357 diameter. This is a 124 grain jacket at hollow point, and uh, we're going to give it a try here. This is a Taurus. It's Taurus makes outstanding guns. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Taurus automatic. A lot of people are. This particular Taurus is marked, manufacturer's markings are in Spanish. That leads me to believe that this gun was originally manufactured for the purpose of South American sales. Uh, normally, you know, Taurus will have uh, English markings on them, most of them that you see. This one is uh, Fajita. Fajita, for F-O-R-J-A-S. I reckon that's a Fajita, isn't it? Uh, Taurus S-A, made in Brazil. Um, normally it would say, you know, the Taurus information would be in English. So, anyway, this is a really nicely done handgun. It's got extended grip safety extended beaver tail. It has the Taurus locking device up here on the hammer. It has factory ambidextrous safety, uh, steel skeletonized trigger. Uh, the grips are cast aluminum. I put those on there myself. Novak style, three dot sights. Uh, just sit up really nice. It does have charging serrations on the front of the slide, which I don't like because I tell people as an instructor, anytime you get your hand forward of the breech area of an automatic pistol, you're in danger of having an accident, a bad one. So we're gonna try this gun right quick. 25 yards at a full size AR-500 chest silhouette. And let's see how it shoots hunker down here that that's loud it's pretty loud and it's also a hit got it swinging all right, let's try the 12 inch steel plate at uh, 25 yards. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Damn, that's a good gun. That guy runs good. The magazine is similar to a 9 millimeter 1911 magazine, but there is a difference between the Super magazine, the 9 millimeter magazine, and the 10 millimeter magazine. There's a considerable difference in the magazine. You can't really see it, but it has to be timed a little bit different to uh, work correctly. 
put up another nine round magazine here. Try this again. This is a uh, excellent gun. I'm trying to say I say outstanding so much that you know I'm trying to get away from that. It's a raining again. All right, let's try the 10-inch steel plate. Nope. Nope. Yep. Got to draw down a little bit. It's been raining on and off all day. Every time I sit down in this chair, it starts raining, and it started raining again, but I'm going to keep going. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. The 38 Super is a Super 9mm, basically. It's uh, not quite as powerful as a 10mm. It's uh, ten millimeter has a little bit more velocity, and of course it's a little bigger. It's 40 caliber. But, uh, what do we got there? One, two, three, four. Looks like uh, seven, six. It's kind of hard to find ammunition for these things sometimes. Uh, our distributors over at the store have generally got it. We try and keep it in stock. But there's enough 38 Supers around that it disappears as fast as we can put it up, get it, price it, and put it out on the shelf. Typically somewhere around twenty dollars a box, about the same price as ten mil. About the same price forty five. Damn gun. Well I guess that's the end of that. I'm out of ammo. This is a outstanding gun. It's absolutely an exemplary gun. It shoots perfectly right out of the I don't know, right out of the box. This guy's about ten years old. Uh, it has serrations on the front strap, which is good. It has a stainless mainspring housing in it, which is checkered the same way. It also has serrations on the bottom of the trigger guard. I'm not 100% sure why that's there, but it is, and, you know, they took the time to do it, so they must have intended it for something. But it's a well-made, well-appointed well put together gun uh, and shoots really good. Uh, this is a loaner gun from my uh, cousin Eddie Ray uh, out of his tape. Uh, just an overall nice gun. Guide rod in it. I don't know if a guide rod helps you or not, just to tell you the truth, but it seems to be a popular, popular thing. Well, that's about the size of it for my next installment of eight. I got this old used gun. <laughs> it's starting to rain like nobody's business, so I'm gonna go find me something else to do. Continue to like and subscribe and share and so forth, and we're getting a little bit closer to the thousand subscriber gun giveaway. All right then, folks, we'll see y'all.